welcome to another nature workshop. Today we're learning all about the plant life cycle. So listen in and let's learn some facts. Like a lot of things in nature, plants go in a cycle. So we start with germination where the seeds start to sprout. Then it grows with roots and stem and leaves. The leaves help make the food, so that's really important. And then we're on to reproduction where it can make more of the same thing and it uses flowers to do that and pollination with a little bit of help from insects and then the seeds are spread about and the life cycle starts again. Right now is a great time to spot this happening when you're out and about. We made labels and we looked to see if we could see those different parts of the life cycle happening. So we spotted saplings, we spotted flowers, we spotted some different seeds and we were started to see a little bit of fruit. But have a go, see what you can find when you're out and about. life cycles are a really important part of nature. Once you learn about one life cycle, you start to see how that same pattern happens all over nature with all different things in nature. You also start to see in other places. Have you ever thought about ideas and how they have a bit of a life cycle? Say if you have an idea of building something amazing out of your building bricks and that idea starts to germinate, it starts to grow a little bit, you start to build it and think about how you're going to do it and then it grows and grows and starts to take on a life of its own, maybe make some extra bits that turn into different things and then maybe eventually you think, oh, I've got an even better idea, I'm going to take this apart and build something new. So it's almost like that creation or that idea dies so that a new one can grow. Ideas are really like that plant life cycle. Those ideas germinate and they grow and then sometimes they change into something completely different, like a tadpole changing into a frog. So here's a big question. Do you have any ideas right now and what would you need for them to grow? Plants obviously need the sun, they need water, they need soil. What would your idea need to grow? Weaving is a great skill to practice and to exercise your fingers. You've just got to go that over under pattern. I try to choose things that were different textures, different colors, different sizes, so that my finished product could be really interesting and have quite a lot of detail to see. So have a go yourself, see what you could weave in nature. Are you ready for your three, two, one challenge? Remember, you can do this on the internet, in a book, or when you're walking out and about. I want you to find three parts of the plant life cycle, three different parts. I want you to find two other things that have just started to grow. Two things that have just started to grow. And number one, I want you to think of one idea you've got and try and make that grow a little bit too. So think of some things that can help that grow and take on a life of its own, just like the plants. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. This is the perfect week to grow something. We decided to grow cress because it's quite quick and we're a little impatient. We changed what the seeds grew in but kept everything else the same and we're busy observing them now growing on our windowsill. It's a beautiful day here, so we're gonna go paddling in the stream. While we do that, why don't you have a go at this quiz? Remember, it's not about getting the answers right or wrong, but it's about learning as you go along. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, so listen to the question and then see if you can guess which is the right answer. So this is what? What part of the plant is this? Is it the ovary, the stamen, or the stigma? What do you think? It's the stigma. Now this seed, what about this? Is it spread about by wind, by animal, or by water? It's dispersed by wind. Well done. What part of the life cycle is this? What's happening here? Is it germination, fertilization, or pollination when the seed is just sprouting? It's germination. Which of these creatures does not help with pollination? Hummingbirds, bees or worms? It's worms. Did you get it right? Let's see this next one. Which seed is dispersed by animals? Dandelion, horse chestnut or sycamore? It's the horse chestnut. 
And here's the last question. At which stage does pollination occur? Is it germination, roots, leaves, flowering, seed dispersal? What do you think? Pick a number. It's four. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.